Hey guys, this is Mark from Newsweed.com. Uh, I just listened to the Synthetic Biologics uh, conference call, and I found it to be extremely, extremely exciting. Uh, number one, I have a new hero called Manel, who uh, I guess is the chief scientist or chief doctor at the company. He is just so excited about VCN01 uh, and VCN11, how we can really expand the uh, possibilities of new drugs uh, with that, uh, with that uh, technique of going after with a virus uh, to the tumors. Uh, really, really exciting. Uh, I found it from a financial standpoint very exciting to know that SYN02 and SYN04 are likely to be partnered or licensed off. That to me, from a financial standpoint, kind of settled uh, my worries about uh, uh, them, uh, uh, you know, issuing more shares and devaluing our current shares. Uh, what I heard from Stephen Shawcross is that they have enough money until uh, 2024, uh, and that uh, they're not really uh, hiding anything. They they said straight out that they got a major institutional investor by uh, doing the private placement. And they also told us flat out, listen, shareholders, you're not going to stop us from issuing more shares because we might need the money. Uh, that to me, that straightforward, uh, not roundabout approach is what I look for in a company. Uh, Stephen Shawcross sound, sounded excellent uh, and positive. Uh, Manel, I mean, very exciting to hear from him. I would have liked to hear from a couple more people from the company, but uh, I think they answered a lot of questions. I actually had a question that I wanted to ask, and that is what they feel the value of O2 and O4 would be to the company if they licensed it or partnered off. I didn't get an answer to that because the operator did not uh, accept my question. Uh, I think she kind of was told not to accept it uh, because I'm not an analyst, uh, but from what I heard, I think that the company is in solid footing. Uh, it looks like the stock is going to be going up and down for a while. It's way underpriced right now. Uh, when they first did the reverse split, they were at uh, about $0.23, cents, which would have been about $2.30. And now, my last check a couple minutes ago, uh, they're at uh, $1.43 or $1.46. So, to me, I think that... Uh, we should see an increase in price uh, based on interest in this. I mean, what they're telling us is that 04, they're going to give us results after uh, the Washington University uh, information comes out, uh, which should be soon. Uh, and they're telling us straight out that 01 has had positive uh, results thus far and that the FDA is very interested uh, in hearing more from the company. Uh, that's a positive. When the FDA knows you're around and they're, you know they're paying attention to what you're doing, uh, I think that could be a big boost. Uh, if the FDA gives approval for 04 and 02, I think we're really going to be off to the races. Um, I did expect the stock to pop at least double today, uh, and we did not get that. But all in all, the conference call, and I'm not I'm not playing this down, uh, was very positive, very exciting. The tone of the voices were very positive. Uh, no shenanigans going on. Straightforward. Hey, we reverse split because we want to stay on the New York Stock Exchange. Hey, we did the uh, uh, private placement because uh, we want to try to uh, have institutional investors pay attention to who we are. Uh, and uh, Stephen Shalcross is trying to uh, prevent as much dilution as possible. So positive things on the SYN stock call. Uh, remember though, uh, it's never as it seems. That's what I always say. This is Mark from newsweed.com. I hope you're all having a great day. Bye.